So early in the game, you're ripping off 15s, 20s from Shamari and your running backs. What are you guys doing to open those holes? Well, I thought our offensive line was really coming off the football extremely well. We had a good mix-up, inside, outside run, uh, and then combining that with some of the things we were doing in the passing game. I thought we had them off balance in that sense. Um, we just got to continue to do that. You know, obviously they're making some adjustments. The linebackers are starting to really fly. I thought we had a nice kind of combination of inside outside run stuff and, and that was really keeping the box the way we wanted. And then they you know had four turnovers on the night, but of those, Tulane only ends up with one first down. So defensively, which you played well most of the night, your guys really honed in on getting after Michael Pratt, didn't they? Yeah, they really did. I mean we, we knew if we could handle the running game, which we did an outstanding job of, Pratt does so much for them in the passing game by keeping plays alive with his feet, keeping his eyes down the field, and he's dangerous in those situations. I thought our D-liners and our linebackers both did a really nice job of creating pressure on him, but also keeping him contained and not letting him get out there and make big plays with his feet. Toward the end of this game, things start to change just wildly, and I know things have got to be going crazy. Take us to the moment they kick the field goal for the potential win. You had to be thinking about overtime. You had to think about all kinds of things. What's going through your mind? Well, the number one thing is we needed him to miss that field goal or get a block. And, and you know, that opportunity happened. Now you start locking in on what you got to do in overtime and, you know, how you want to play it, what adjustments you need to make, and then scenarios offensively and defensively that you need to cover. Thought our coaches did a good job with that, but more importantly, our players came out and, and executed at a high level right And now. then take us through Shamari's touchdown in overtime. Yeah, you know, we get the big first down right there. We've got a, a, a cut play with the tight end coming across. Our offensive line did a nice job of coming up the field, uh, really collecting bodies as they moved forward. Shamari, great vision right there, bounces it to the outside. Our outside receiver did a nice job of running off and then turning into a blocker. Shamar sees green grass and, and just has a nose for the goal line, finds a way to get it in. And then on defense, you get him to fourth and 10, you're able to get the ball knocked down. But again, that's Michael Pride, he's dangerous. What did you see? Well, you know, at that point, I think they had a penalty backed him up to, to get it to fourth and 10, which was great. A little bit of movement up front. Uh, knew we needed to contain him, but obviously, from a coverage standpoint, what do we want? What are we looking at? But we still want to be sure that we're getting pressure and, and putting some pressure on Michael. Uh, I thought our defensive line did an outstanding job there in getting that push. For more information, you can visit TulsaWorld.com.